Storm Alberto made landfall in Mexico this morning. So far, at least four people have died there. Sad news that we're seeing there. It also dumped heavy rain across parts of Texas. This was a scene today in Corpus Christi as cars drove through flooded waters. People were also seen walking through knee deep water as well there. The National Hurricane Center is staying on top of two other areas of interest in the tropics. One, as you can see in the Atlantic, it's about 300 miles off the coast of Florida. Meteorologist Natalie Ferrari is in tonight for Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins. And Natalie, we could see higher rain chances this weekend because of the disturbance. Yeah, it's not organized by any means, actually creating very disorganized thunderstorm activity. As you mentioned, 300 miles off the coast of Florida, about 150 miles north of the Bahamas. But what's happening is it's interacting with some drier air. This is allowing it to struggle to develop, but it does have a 40% chance over the next two to seven days that it will try to turn into something tropical, possibly even a depression by the time we get to tomorrow, especially by Saturday. I will tell you there is very, very little room for this thing to even try to strengthen. So it's given that Invest 92 classification so that the National Hurricane Center can put spaghetti models into this and forecast where it could potentially go. But many models still, whatever comes of it, bringing this moisture back up towards northeastern Florida, even along the Gulf Coast, or rather the Atlantic Coast of Georgia by the time we get to tomorrow morning. Some of that moisture will scoot its way across the state and even help to elevate some of our rain chances, which I'll talk about hour by hour in a few minutes. Then you mentioned Alberto already over the mountains of Mexico and already losing that strength now considered remnants of Alberto falling apart, but it still has been grabbing a lot of moisture out of the Gulf and flinging up, up all across parts of Texas tonight, so they're still not getting quite a bit of relief just yet with those scattered showers. 